You know how squirrels can just leap from branch to branch? They make it look so easy, but it's not. There are a lot of forces at play. And if you want a leaping robot to stick the landing just like a squirrel, well, first you have to understand what the squirrel is doing so expertly. This is the Salto robot, a foot tall jumping dynamo developed at UC Berkeley a decade ago. In two new papers, UC Berkeley researchers outline how they studied the acrobatics of the squirrel and trained Salto to land like the rodents. It turns out that squirrels apply a braking force when they land. 86% of the kinetic energy from a jump is absorbed by their front legs. But Salto only has one leg, which is an advantage for its jumping ability, but not so helpful for landing on a narrow branch. To help it stay upright, Salto has a flywheel that whirls a bit like a human's arms, or a squirrel's bendy torso, when balancing. So the researchers took what they found out from branch breaking by squirrels, which also use their legs to prevent over or under shooting, and engineered it into the bot. Watch closely and you can see that the flywheel goes into reverse when Salto lands, and the tension in the legs changes, effectively breaking like the squirrel does. Someday, robots with Salto's squirrel-like abilities might be useful for navigating disaster areas, infrastructure inspection, or managing forests, or to explore low-gravity bodies in space, like Enceladus, a moon of Saturn where gravity is only 1 80th of Earth's, and a single jump from Salto would cover a football field. Think of it as one small step for a robot and a giant leap for squirrel kind.